Now in this video, you are going to learn that how as a teacher you can build your own small web page of your lesson plan or your notes which you want to share with your students. This is especially for higher grade students like from grade 9 to 12th. And let me just show you of how to build a small web page to be shared with the students for their quick notes and their exercises. So suppose I, I have to first click on build a web page and I will go down and I will click. So there are many options. You have an option of choosing one of the templates that you like. There are certain ready templates with you. If not, just the safest thing is to create your own blank. Now I'm just creating one small, small lesson or you can say a small notes for the students for the chapter. Say electrostatics okay or a basic chapter whichever you want to name or so i i took that and you can write the name of the teacher so if the name of the teacher is puja and suppose you are teaching as sfc jhansi okay any school you are teaching and now here there is this option of creating and putting a picture so it says photo now since it's a physics thing i can choose a physics background and maybe if i want to have a background like this suppose of course i'm just putting it a random background you can put any background that you want okay and now this is called a long cover because it's very, it's covering a larger area. You can take it to a shorter cover and. OK, you may not write your own name in case you want to write down that this is quick notes or something. So just write down notes. You can keep editing. These are all editing option. You can keep it. Like this also, you can just write down notes and now let's come to the introduction of it. Now in the introduction, you can pick up. You might, might have your cell phone notes. You can write up things, you know, you can pick it up from Internet, whatever you feel that is right. You can proofread it. So suppose I want to pick up something on electrostatics. Class 12, so I can just I'm just picking up a very simple thing and I come here and. Come back to my web page and I will just click on plus sign. It asks me for text. Photograph, button, GIF image, video, photo grid, glide show, split light, a lot of things. Your stuff is whatever you're creating in on Adobe Express. It gets so stored in your folder. So let me just first select text and put this here. Now you'll see here that you have a lot of options of editing the text. On the right hand side, there is this editing option of themes. So if I want to select a theme, say Nora Cooper, I can select the entire theme and you'll see that the fonts and all will change. For example, if I choose this, this becomes so big and it's not good. I can make it smaller. OK, if I'm not happy with the theme, I think it's looking too big. All you need to do is go back again and you can just come and, and select whichever theme theme that you are liking. So just keep on, uh, you know, it's a it's a black theme. Now, if you if you like this color, well and fine. Otherwise, just keep selecting the theme that you like. OK. And if you want a vintage theme, you can take that as well. So of course, all of that can be done. So let me just stick to, you know. See, I think for me it was I think this 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 theme is something which I'm liking. So I'll just stick to this theme now. The first thing I can do is I can put a small video which defines electrostatics. So I'll just go back to the Internet and of course, all the teachers have their own notes, so you know. I'm sure that you don't need. Uh, videos from the Internet, but in case you want to have a YouTube video, which you think is doing justice to the topic, all you need to do is click on share here, copy this link, come back here and you're going to click on video and it says embed a video here just paste that link it you can paste a link from X, adobe express video made on adobe express youtube or vimeo i'm just putting this video now you'll see that the within the web page 
the YouTube video has now got embedded. The students don't have to go to uh, the entire YouTube channel anymore. Within it, they can see it. So it the entire search becomes more confined for them. Now, suppose as a teacher, you have some of your own notes with you. So just click on photo and there's an option of upload from device. Click on upload and suppose you have certain notes with you. OK, I'm just picking up one of the PNG image of the notes that one of the teachers had made. You can just put the notes inside so that particular notes come here. Now, suppose you have a small assignment which you want to give or you want to give a link to any any of the assignment that is there on NCRT or CBSC web page or you want to, you know, put something which you have made in a Google form or something. You can do that. So how can you do that? Suppose you have made a quiz. So suppose you have made a quiz on a Google form. So what you're going to do is just copy that Google form link and whatever you have made for the quiz. Click on a button and just write down. Assignment one. And just paste that Google form link if there's a quiz or an assignment that you have created and just click on save. So this becomes an editable link and you can just keep putting it things whichever you want or okay, can create a web page. Now the beauty of this web page is that it's not necessary that you have to complete the entire web page at one go. Today it's chapter one. OK, you can keep on, you know, uh, talking about this entire thing more and more. Keep adding to the entire web page slowly and build upon it, right? Of course, themes is totally your own way of choosing a theme. You know, as long as you don't feel satisfied, you can just keep choosing the themes or whichever color you feel is good. And and be happy with it. So just keep on building this every time you're finishing one small activity or you're fi finishing one activity or notes or one particular topic. You keep building on it and now how to share with the students. Click on share. And click on publish to web. And always remember now here it is coming as untitled. So just you can just write down your title. So if it is electro. Statics, just write it here. Also ensure that you also put this title here also. OK. Let me just create the link and I will keep. You'll see here that though I edited it there, you also have to edit it here also as well. Just give me two minutes. So here also just edit the title, whatever you are preparing. And every time you do a change, all you need to do is share. And after clicking on share, there is this option of publishing. And one more thing, teachers, if you have to, if you want that within this web page, students should answer and you have given some assignment and questions, you can give them allow to remix. So if you give allow to remix, all the students can do is they can just click on this plus sign and write their own text. Or else, suppose you are giving this entire questionnaire or this lesson or a few questions to them. If you feel that they are still, you want them to write in their copies and come back to you, especially uh, since they have to have a muscle memory of writing and returning back answers to you. Let them write the answers in their copy. Let them take a screenshot and submit it back to you. OK, so I'll show you that also. Let me just republish it. And let me just republish it and then let me just show you of how exactly the students can answer it back. I'm going to share this entire thing with you. So what you're going to do is just copy this link and just now what happens is when a student gets this, just see. If the student is opening this and suppose you have put a set of questions here, they will just click on remix this. And this entire thing becomes editable for them. So suppose you have a set of questions embedded within the web page itself and you want the students to write it in the copy, take a screenshot and submit back to you. Ask them to take a photograph of it, click on photo, upload from device. And suppose they have already like, you know, taken some of the notes. OK, like this on a note copy. Ask them to take the photograph of it. 
write down and that's it. OK, the, they can just submit, turn in the assignment in the form of a PDF or a picture to you and just share it back to you. So this is the easiest way teachers in which you can keep building your lesson plan and keep moderating it and students can turn back the assignments through the way either through a Google form which you have devised or submit it in your class WhatsApp group or the mechanism which you have decided. Thank you.